Hello everybody, how are you doing? My name is Shitanshu and I welcome you to my channel Dream Abroad. Now this video is quite a different video because in this video I'm going to tell you how you can actually differentiate between a fake ITA and a real ITA. Now you must be wondering that what this fake ITA is. So I'll show you an example of one a fake ITA. Uh, of course it is a scam. Of course it is a trick done by some people to actually you know gain some advantage probably some money or some confidential information from you. So let me show you an example of uh, the fake ITA or an invitation letter. So this was one post which was you know recently uh, done by someone in the Dream Abroad Canada Facebook group. By the way, we are uh, close to 40,000 people over here. So if you haven't actually joined this group, I'll provide a link in the description box. Okay, coming back uh, to our point here. So this is an example and obviously this uh, gentleman over here was even not able to believe that it is true. So uh, let me just show you what it is first of all. So this is, a, this is a mail which he got actually. This mail said that dear nominee we wish to congratulate you for being selected in 2018 Canadian Federal Skilled Worker Program FSWP. You are among the list of persons selected for the 2018 Federal Skilled Worker Program to Canada with benefits from the Canadian government. You and your family will be granted permanent residence status and uh, with benefits if you meet the basic requirements. Has given a nomination code over here and they have written that uh, every year a certain number of people are selected via email through our electronic ballot system for resettlement by Canadian government as a part of support to some countries. Confirm receipt of this notification by responding immediately to enable us send you all relevant requirements needed to process your nomination. He has given uh, the name over here, program coordinator, the email. So of course uh, this is a pretty bad example I must say of the fake invitation. I am sure if people are actually doing such stuff you know they'll be doing at a better level at a better scale as well. So let me take you to the official website of Government of Canada. They have mentioned a you know, few steps over here. So it would be very easy for you to understand and follow these steps. So they have clearly mentioned over here that IRCC never emails applicants to confirm basic information provided on per application forms or asks for any uh, banking information. They never send the visas, permits, certificates, uh, documents by email and also they don't offer any special or limited time promotions. So this is something which you should uh, keep in mind always. Now coming over to our fake ITA over here. Let's uh, you know drill down to the points one by one. Now they have mentioned that uh, the email you received might be a scam or a phishing scheme if you did not expect the email. So if you know that your score is not that good that you can get an ITA and uh, may, might be there might be a new draw or even without a draw you get an ITA so this is something suspicious right. Apart from that they might uh, mention that it is coming from a particular province. In that case apart from Ontario you should know that you know if you haven't filled the application form or the if you haven't submitted the EOI the expression of interest for that particular province Without that, you would never get an invitation. Yes, if you have an express entry profile created and if Ontario has the requirement of your skill set, they might give you an invitation letter. But apart from Ontario, all the other provinces, you have to fill the expression of interest. So second point, it is from a private address or a free webmail address like Yahoo Mail, Hotmail, Gmail. So let me show it to you clearly. It's very clear over here. As I said, this is a very terrible example of a fake letter, but uh, it is mentioned over here that uh, the domain name is actually AOL.com if you want to check the AOL. So uh, this is the AOL.ca website. Uh, you can check, you can go over here and you can create a email, uh, you know, without any payment. So this is a free email. Anybody can make it. So obviously this is something which is very common and it can be identified within a few seconds. Moving on, uh, the email uses a standard greeting such as dear customer client instead of your real name. So this is uh, another point you can see over here they have uh, mentioned nominee over here they haven't mentioned uh, the gentleman's name or they haven't mentioned any other specific information. So this is a very generic mail that they would be sending to many people the same mail. Okay uh, now moving on 
the, if the center asks you to update, validate, or confirm your personal information, such as your date of birth, a password, credit card, or bank details. So, so in this email, at least, they didn't ask for the uh, for any personal information. I'm sure if the gentleman would have replied to this email uh, after you know confirming the reset of the notification, like what is mentioned over here, the second step would certainly be asking for some money or for some personal information like this. The other point which you should notice that if you are told that your quick action is required to prevent negative consequences such as your application being cancelled or your account suspended, that email or the letter should go in the zone of suspicion. If the email promotes a special immigration or citizenship offer that sounds too good to be true. So this is something which we found over here again. They have written over here that every year a certain number of people are selected via email through our electronic ballot system for resettlement by Canadian government as part of support to some countries. So this is never the case. I mean, this line is totally incorrect. There's nothing like that. There's no such program which selects uh, the people through just email through an electronic ballot system. So please don't fall for such fake lines. Apart from that, they've mentioned uh, as well that uh, the links in the email claim to bring you to a secure site, you are direct redirected to a commercial or a fake site that is not IRCC's site or a government of Canada website. So if there is actually a link mentioned over there which takes you to another website, it's totally fake, don't care about it. If it contains an attachment that you did not request, so in that case as well, and also if the message is an image instead of text. So these are small, small steps that you can actually follow to identify if it's a uh, if it's actually a letter from the real immigration authorities or not. So they've mentioned over here the common IRCC email practices. It's good to know. The email addresses ends with at the rate cic.gc.ca, at the rate canada.ca and at the rate international.gc.ca. The email is usually from a do not reply account. So all the emails which you'll find actually, the fake emails I'm talking about, would ask for some information from your side, you know, down the line they would ask for some money but IRCC would never ask for it. Most of the emails would be a do not reply account. They would generally be like there's a notification in your, uh, in your, there's a notification in your mail, please check your mail. There's a notification in your account, please check your account or there's a message in your account, please check your account. Even when you get the PPR uh, request or the notification, uh, it comes like that only. So they've mentioned some other points over here as well. You can read them out. Uh, if you want, I can provide the link to uh, this web page in the description box. You can check it out. Uh, apart from that, you know, there's another article over here which says that how can I tell if an immigration website is a scam? So they've mentioned some uh, other points over here. You can go over here and actually check if, if anybody is pitching you a too good to believe kind of an offer for immigration to Canada. And even if they have a big website, uh, saying that you know this is the website you can check it out. I am sure most of us would actually be that much cautious But I'm sure there are many people who you know do not know the technicalities or who fall for it And that is the reason why these scammers actually play their game Regularly and they earn a lot of money and a lot of information They can even ask for your credit card your debit card or some other banking information so that they can actually hack your bank account and they would be able to take away a lot of money, whatever they want. I just hope that nobody would fall for these kind of scams. My intention is very clear to make you guys aware of what is happening in the market to make you guys self capable. Again, if you are not there on this uh, portal, on this uh, Dream Abroad Canada Facebook group, you can come over here and obviously you can ask questions like this, like, this gentleman was not very sure if this email was fake or not so he asked it and uh, all the replies he got over here I can show you uh, were that the email was totally fake. Now everybody saying that uh, it is totally fake so please don't fall for such things. So thank you guys again for watching this video. I just hope that you like the video and the information shared in this video. If yes please uh, click the thumbs up button and uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, what the hell are you waiting for? Go and click the subscribe button right now.